time for that Age of Aquarius reading. No, I've been slacking on it. Um, but it's because my schedule changed and everything. I'm like, everyone needs all signs readings. <laughs> um, so, yes, forgive me for the slacking. I'm back. I'm back. And I have the perfect schedule for this. So, yes. Um, let's see. What is going to happen in the the age of Aquarius what can we expect this is a global reading right this is something larger than personal this is something um you know, politics religion you know spirituality all that um so let's see it okay we have two of wands in reverse with the six of pentacles. Um, so a decision has been made. And this decision, um, it's like whatever was planned out, it, it's very successful. So let's see. Let's clarify. What, what decision was made? Okay, so this kind of reminds me of the opium for the masses. This is kind of something that I feel the masses are kind of doing, right? Everyone wants pleasure. Everyone's in this, um, you know, six of cups energy of feeling like almost entitled to a good life, right? Or entitled to good things happening for them. With the four of swords in reverse, um, I feel like this is because they've had to deal with so much strife because there's been so much nonsense, you know, going on in the world. And they're like, you know, we fucking earned this. We've earned, um, some fucking respite, man. All right. So, um, six of pentacles, clarify that. What becomes successful? Queen of Swords in reverse, I see kind of a surrender here with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Um, laying down the swords, choosing, you know, especially with the Six of Cups, that's kind of like offering peace, you know. Um, with the Knight of Wands in reverse, I feel like, and the Nine of Wands, those kind of pair together, you know. There's a lot that that has been overcome, you know. Somebody... Somebody came raging in with that fire and, um, you know, it could have been a whole force. It could have been a whole military who came in with this fire, who came in, um, you know, but then they were weakened, uh, with that nine of wands in reverse. It's like they, they slowly and slowly, you know, they just, um, it's like they got depleted, you know, they thought, they thought that, I feel like this is the energy of the one that was not successful, you know, so, um, the success was that they lost, right, but the success is this energy of surrender, this energy of not wanting to lose more, um, that's what I'm seeing with the Six of Pentacles, it's like somebody backed down because they saw that they were just not going to get any rest from strife until they did, um, the sun is showing up, right? People are going to be feeling very, uh, prosperous, uh, pretty soon because of this. You know, it, there's going to be a victory here for somebody, um, due to this surrender, right? Somebody, or some buddies, <laughs> um, yeah, it's like they were, they were kind of, um, Taken off of a, uh, it's like they were blindsided, right? But then, despite being blindsided, it's like resources just popped up for them, popped up, popped up, and they were able to get a surrender out of the the perpetrator here, All right? With the Princess of Wands, this is kind of a new um, establishment. Right? This is, um, this is 
I almost want to say, you know, kind of how they say, like, uh, the Americas are the new world, right? Um... Yeah, it's like they're showing up. They're like as a new thing, as a new establishment. And this energy is um, it's the princess taking the queen, you know. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing the princess taking the queen. Um, almost like a daughter country. Um, with the wands, it's like their foundation is in truth. They're very motivated. They're very together right there's a lot of unity in this yeah ace of swords this is their new fucking beginning they brought the sword right queen of swords had to fucking surrender because they fucking brought their sword and they're like okay you want us to take her place we'll fucking do it right we were gonna do this shit peacefully we weren't gonna fucking bother you but you want to see who is tougher now. <laughs> Let's go, you know. And I feel like this Queen of Swords in reverse energy is feeling very defeated. Um, it's like they thought that they would have all these alliances, all these resources. But all those alliances and resources went straight to the person they were attacking. Um, or to the people they were attacking. Ha ha! Joke's on them. <laughs> Um, that's what you get for being a dick, right? <laughs> um, let's see. The magician, yeah, somebody here was, like, you know, being very secretive, working in the dark, manipulating a situation, creating some sort of illusion here. Um, maybe the illusion of peace but then when with the knight of pentacles in reverse when when all their resources started depleting and none were coming back in for them that's when they were like oh shit maybe i done fucked up <laughs> uh ten of pentacles i see a victory for this princess of wands here and um you know this victory is kind of fucking huge this is the kind of victory that takes down an empire you know but Ten of Pentacles, they're taking down an empire and they're just a little baby. Just a little baby, yeah. The Hierophant, because they were learning and growing, right? This is opposite of the Magician, right? The Hierophant is learning and growing and also a very magical being, but they don't use the dark forces. They don't need secrecy. They don't need to lie. They don't need to hide. They don't have shitty shit, you know? They're not trying to be scandalous. Right? Whereas the magician is like very sneaky. Always, you know, always something in their left hand. You know, the right hand is unaware. They're always like pulling some bullshit. Um, I feel like this is a pretty, pretty fucking good outcome here. Let's see. New beginnings, man. Prosperity. This is good. Yeah, with the Five of Cups in reverse, I see that, you know, these efforts were not wasted. This is something that was divinely planned. This is something that was meant to happen because somebody lost favor of the gods here. Somebody lost favor. They done fucked up. Um, oh yeah, the Hermit. So this caused that energy to kind of retreat inside. They're like, what do I do? <laughs> right? They're embarrassed. Globally embarrassed. Three of Cups. They're going, I, I see a celebration here, and this is kind of coming back to this Sun card and the Ace of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles, right? And this new, this Princess of Wands energy. I see this, this beautiful energy of like togetherness, celebration, getting that victory. Um, King of Cups in reverse. Yeah, um, I feel like this is in regards to that Queen of Swords uh, in reverse. It's like they were forced to surrender because they didn't have allies anymore. Or people that they thought were their allies were like, dude, you're fucked up. I ain't helping you. I ain't, 
I ain't joining in on your fucking party. We already done did this, right? So six of wands in reverse tells me that they got shut all the fucking way down. Um, you have six, six, six on the board. Six of wands, six of cups, six of pentacles. Um, six, six, six is all about material gain, you know? And I feel like there is material gain happening for this princess of wands because... That's an energy of truth and righteousness. And guess what? Chicken butt. Narcissists don't win the game no more. Princess of Pentacles. Uh-huh. This princess is not only showing up in truth and honor, right? But they're also showing up, like, gaining the resources and gaining that insight. Um, oh, man. This is beautiful. I love this. Um... I feel like I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it here because I'm just gonna keep reiterating this victory that this Princess of Wands energy has, right? This is a new establishment. This is a new thing. And it's beautiful. I fucking love it. Um <laughs> and there that Queen of Swords is like all the way look at that, having to huddle up like in their shame. <laughs> Oh, it's beautiful. Let them be ashamed of, the, of themselves. They're acting like fucking children. All right, children. Lord of the fly shit. <laughs> That's what you get for being a greedy bastard. You lose it all and you watch them win, right? <laughs> da, 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 da. Um, I don't know. I love this. This is a pretty solid reading for the Age of Aquarius. Um, cheers to the Age of Aquarius. May we be... Um, always successful in the endeavors of integrity, right? Alright. That's pretty much what I got for you. Namaste. I love you guys and I'll catch you on the next one.